What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bunny Craft. As you can see, I've made some uh, executive decisions in regards to the the mega vase here. I think I would like to give it a real name. I think I will dub it the Candy Chateau uh, in honor of the uh, Rococo style I'm trying to emulate here. There's some legacy walls over back there, you can see. That was the original height of them. Actually, the the real thing that I should be showing off, hold on. I made myself this little, I guess, crow's nest <laughs> to... Um, I almost, not almost, I over double the the width of this main wall here and then this little like I don't know what that's supposed to be like maybe an entry entrance room foyer kind of deal I haven't built anything because I'm not really sure what I want to do for that but that's basically reserved for like where the doors are gonna go and everything even without fog my render distance is just barely wide enough to be able to see the end of that wing, the other corner. So that's been my recap. I think what I want to try and do this episode is at least start making like another hub because I'll be honest, it gets really dangerous here at night and I live in fear of my temporary bed being exp uh, hello and I have like a billion enterprises. So I can, I can get on the nether roof, no problem. Actually, before I do any of that, I did notice there's an igloo over here, which I'm not sure how I missed before, since it's literally, like, right next to where I set up base camp. I haven't looked at it at all, because I've been, feels like the kind of thing I should do on camera, because it's kind of, kind of special. I don't know, I don't see igloos that often. Ah... My gosh, this looks so fun with the, the gingerbread bricks. Yeah, check it. It's got a basement. I will be taking that cobweb. Thank you. A cactus in a flower pot. That's really cute. Um, oh, actually, that's really good. I haven't seen any deserts. That's really good. Oh my gosh. Should I do this right now? I don't think getting the villagers is that worth it in this version, because they still suck. Um, I don't know, I could... I could... Why not? I hit myself with the weak... Oh my god, that's so loud in my ears. <laughs> I will keep you trapped, and... Does the process... I'm not a villager person, I think they're annoying. Does the process stop if I unload the chunks? I think I have to sit there for five minutes, don't I? I don't want to do that. Oh well. Goodbye, villagers. Or one and a half. Villager. Hmm. Maybe I should make some armor, actually, before I go in there. I've been walking around naked this whole time. I know I do have diamond armor, but I don't. I want to use it because it doesn't have all, it's not all mending yet, so I'm scared I'm going to lose it if I use it. Because I spent all my precious mending books on important things like efficiency 5 shears. My initial nether spawn is a little bit cavernous, so I figured this might be a good spot to like try and tunnel upwards. Ah, so, god damn it. Oh shit, I didn't even have to use the ladders. <laughs> okay, so I have my coordinates of all my stuff. I make something like around here. Should take me back to world spawn. Did not ring a 
flint and steel. Here we are once again. I did bring those, thank god. Alright. So. Aha! And there's my, there's my hobble! Alright, this isn't exactly where I was expecting it to be. Hold on, where's my... I mean, that's where, that's where it was gonna be according to to math. So this is a pretty good spot. I can work with this. Awesome. Oh, that's annoying. Why did you put me down here? This is really bad. <laughs> ah. Okay, there. And then my house all full. So go like this. Yeah. It's worth trying to go in again to see if breaking that other one made this work. Suddenly. I don't think Y level isn't supposed to to alter it that much, is it? So I think. Yeah, this is pretty far off from where the, the nether cord is. It's where it's supposed to be, mathematically. Please, for the love of God. Please. Please. God fucking damn it, and it's in the same spot. I swear. I'm going up these stairs again. Awesome. So it's been, um... Like a week. <laughs> I did figure out what was going wrong with the nether portals. In this version of the game, when you make another portal in the overworld, or you go in another portal in the overworld, um, it doesn't check like above Y127 for any portals to connect up to, which is why when I went in through the roof, I would come out where I wanted to, but when I went back in, it would keep trying to make a new portal because it, it just couldn't find the one that was on top of the roof. Um, it is pretty tedious, though, because you need the actual, like, portal blocks to be on Y127, which involves breaking, like, so much bedrock. This little area was just for funsies, so I can add some, like, stairs and stuff, but you need at least, like, four pieces so you can place the portal down, and you need to find a spot where there's two netherrack on... Y126 right next to each other, which thankfully isn't especially rare, but it does involve having to have like a creative world or something that has the same seed so you can run tests and find a spot that would be good. So I guess good balancing on Mojang's part for this because I'm probably not going to be making roof portals too often unless it's a spot that I, I really want to make sure I have quick and easy access to. Um, like World Spawn. <laughs> So, yeah, now that uh, the portal's on the right level, that so that this portal can actually find it, it, um, it all connects up pretty good. Thank God. <laughs> um, you know, of course, while I had the, the bedrock breaking stuff out, I made sure to, to put a hole where I could um, get up and down without having to use up so many ender pearls. And I have a design to decorate that, that I think would be pretty nice. Also, I, I lost all my mending tools in lava, don't worry about it. No. Maybe it is worth just building like a glass case over the open areas here so my buildings don't get destroyed. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. It's kind of an interesting texture. Um, Maybe whatever I settle on for a final design for this area, I could incorporate some of this. Okay, that one's a little uglier than the first one. This is just a 
a quick and dirty cactus farm that I built from the cactus from the igloo. But yeah, it's all coming full circle. It's pretty useful. Good to have. It's like kind of hypnotic. <laughs> Whoa, anyway. Okay, so I kind of ran out of recording time again. Um, and since I had a little bit until I could start recording again, I got kind of carried away with the building. Yeah, here's the here's the finished build for um, the ladder up to the roof. It was uh, initially supposed to be like um, one of those like spiral lollipops. I'm sure there's a real name for it, but I don't know what it is. But you know what I'm talking about. It's a very, like, odd and detailed shape. I'm not actually sure it's even that feasible to do at this scale, but um, I'm okay just saying it's inspired because, honestly, regardless of whether it actually looks like the thing that it's supposed to or not, um, I think it's really cute. The silhouette is definitely there for, like, a spiral lollipop if you're able to isolate that in your mind, but um, even if the, the connection isn't there, I, I still think it's a cute design. For some reason, I, I thought it would be a fun idea for, like, all of my nether stuff to be kind of themed around, like, maybe a carnival or something. So, um, the roof style I went with is, like, I don't know what that's called. My brain wants me to say pavilion roof, but I don't think that's a real term for anything in particular. <laughs> um, but, you know, sort of, like, kind of sloped, sort of um, invocative of a carnival tent sort of shape, and then also um, put some glowstone down over the front that maybe looks like kind of banners that you would hang from the top of the tent. Um, and also it just adds a little bit more light in, which is nice. Just the, the way that the spiral is kind of designed left these like handrails, I don't know. Um, but that sort of thing, just kind of holding the the front pillars onto the rest of the building, which I think looks pretty fun. Um, I probably would have added something like that in any way if it didn't um, just kind of naturally happen with the way the spiral was. Um, but the fact that it did naturally happen was pretty cool. I also built a little, well, I mean... For one thing, I made an ice rail between my two roof portals. <laughs> For some reason, I really wanted the the spot where the ladder comes out to the roof to look like a carousel or something. I think I did a really good job with this. I think it looks exactly like a carousel. Um, I could bring in some horses right now. But, uh, yeah, and something I um, didn't necessarily intend for, but kind of worked out really well is kind of the main blocks and all of these nether builds have been quartz nether bricks and glowstone so um even if color wise they don't match super well um they're all like very nethery themed down to like their block palette which is kind of uh, that's just kind of a fun thing and then i'll be honest i didn't really know what to do for the, the inner circle since i thought I was getting a little heavy on the quartz. Maybe I should chill a little bit. Um, but I couldn't think of anything that looks better than the quartz, so I just went with, like, a a nice little rainbow. I'm going to have to do my outro with the, the guest ambiance. Oh, well. But, yeah, that's, that's everything that I worked on. Having all the nether stuff on the, the roof has actually been super, super helpful. Um even just in the, the couple weeks it took me to record this. I'm very happy to um, have it at least a kind of done, like some stuff just like done. But yeah, thank you for watching. I've been your host, Fluffy Bunny. Farewell. Farewell.